There's a lot to love about Grand Rapids, Michigan, but at the same time, there's a lot to hate about it. In this video, I'm gonna be going over the pros and the cons of living in Grand Rapids, Michigan, and it's coming up right now. For things to do in Sites to See, you are now watching Live Great TV, and I am your official host, to live in great in Grand Rapids and the West Michigan area. My name is Vaughn Greyhouse. Hey, I am in love with making these videos. I love making these videos. So what I do is I always talk about the Grand Rapids area, the West Michigan area, and what it's like to live, work, and have fun in West Michigan. So if you're interested in watching videos just like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on all the great videos that I'll be putting out each and every week. Because honestly, I love making these videos. But even more than that, I love helping you guys make that move over to West Michigan. It's an awesome opportunity to be able to help you guys out. So that name and that email right across the screen is coming up. That's my direct contact info. If you need to get a hold of me, call me anytime. I'm the one who answers the calls. I will be able to help you figure out exactly what that best fit for you is gonna be. So with that being said, let's get into the video. All right, guys, the first pro that I want to talk about in Grand Rapids is definitely going to be outdoor activities. Now, when you're coming out to Grand Rapids, it's Michigan. You got the green, you got the river, you got the waters, the lakes. People know Michigan as being just somewhere that's up north. It's green. You got the Great Lakes. And there's also a bunch of inland lakes in a lot of the trails, the bike trails. All of the parks around town would literally give you the best experience if you're going to take the brand new mountain bike out or if you got some new kayaks. You'll definitely be able to have fun doing those type of things in West Michigan. Another thing is going to be camping and wildlife. There's a ton of deer out here. There's a ton of camping. Going up north is something that a lot of people frequent. They love doing that type of thing. Get your canteens out, get your campfires out, get your guitar and sing Kumbaya if you're out here. You want to have a good time as far as that camping and doing those sorts of things. I have friends that go camping every weekend. So doing those type of things as far as the Grand Rapids area is definitely going to be one of the highlights. There's tons of parks, a bunch of dog parks, splash pads to take your kids. And even in the winter time, we have Cannonsburg Ski Hill. We also have Bittersweet. That's another place you can go skiing right in the West Michigan area where you can just enjoy your winters. Also, not to forget to mention sledding hills. If you want to take the kids out on the weekend, a Saturday afternoon sometime, take those kids out to a bunch of sledding hills. You can take them right in the area and have a fantastic time in the winter. So those outdoor activities is definitely going to be a highlight to coming out to Grand Rapids. Now, along with those outdoor activities, we have the beautiful Four Seasons. The Four Seasons are something that a lot of people really enjoy about being here. You get to see the green, you get to see the wild colors in the fall, you get to see that white snowy winter, you get those white Christmases unlike anywhere else in the United States. We have a ton of snow so it's also a really good thing to look forward to as you're coming into Grand Rapids. All right let's get into the first con. The first con I'm going to give you about living in Grand Rapids specifically is the parking. Like the parking's the worst here. I, I, you, if you come out to your car after going to the store or being, you know, being at an apartment downtown, especially in, in the Grand Rapids area, like as far as some of the art museums and things like that, you get that little yellow ticket on your car. Some of them are like 20 and 30 bucks. And that's definitely a con to being in Grand Rapids. Where do you park? So that's definitely going to be the con number one as far as what the con of living in Grand Rapids is going to be. So when you're parking, Make sure you pay, pay that little $3, $5 charge rather than having a $20, $30 ticket on your car. It'll definitely be worth it. They got this little app you can put on your phone and pay for it. They're usually like 30 cents every half hour or something like that. So it's actually a really good deal for you when you're going to park your car. So the next thing that I want to talk about is going to be the cost of living. And that's definitely a pro. The pro as far as the cost of living in West Michigan, it's about 12 to 15% below the national average. The average rent is going to be somewhere around $1,250 as far as your two bed, two bath, 800 and 900 square foot apartment. But on the contrary, as far as a con, 
it's hard to get a place to rent. It's very competitive. A lot of people want those good places to rent in different locations. So when you're out looking for an apartment to rent, you probably know this already if you're thinking about moving out here, it can be a challenge. So as far as you making those phone calls, you gotta hit the phone pretty hard to find out exactly who's got that availability. Get on somebody's wait list early if you're thinking of moving. Kind of see what's going on. Get some of those prospective places out lined up so that way you don't run into trouble later on down the line when you really need to move. The average home sale price as far as the cost of living is about 15 to 20 percent below the national average. I was looking up some stats online and I'll try to put them up on the screen here so you can see. The national average is at about 375,000 somewhere in that range but our average is about 316,000 so you're saving a good $60,000 by coming out here on your home, on your average home, three bed, two bath, 1,500 square foot house. Always depends on location, 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 location. So make sure when you are moving out here, give me a call to exactly what to expect before you even head out here. In regards to groceries, now groceries, what I spend on groceries between two people, you're probably looking at about $200 to $300 a month, depending on how much you're eating. If you're going out you know, very much, you should probably just depend on that. You got family fair we have bridge street market meyer there's whole foods there is trader joe's a bunch of places to go as far as your shopping if you want to save all these are really good place where you can save money that's definitely one of the things you want to look out for as far as your cost of living is really a good highlight now if you're thinking of going out to eat for about 45 dollars you can have a dinner for two and get drinks so that's a really good deal as far as cost of living i've been places traveling around the nation florida california chicago you're gonna spend at least 60 70 bucks on a meal a minimum so if you come out here here, you're definitely going to be saving more money even if you go out to eat so it's cost of living is definitely going to be a really good highlight now when it comes to heating and cooling your home that is about somewhere in the range of two hundred dollars per month between heating and cooling your home that's about the range you should expect year round if you want to average it out it's about two hundred dollars a month all right i'm going to get into con number two this is going to be my second con there are not that many great restaurants now before you get all worked up <laughs> I've been a lot of places. I've been to LA, I've been to New York, Chicago, and it's hard to compare Grand Rapids to those cities, even Detroit. This place in general is not the most cultured place. I'm gonna just put that out there. I know I'm probably gonna get some, some people who disagree with me, and that's completely fine. That's just my opinion. So as far as the cultured place, it's not the most cultured place. Yes, we do have Spanish restaurants and we do have different uh, Greek restaurants and things like that, but as far as some of the places that I've been that are in bigger cities, so if you're from a bigger city, City. This is a lot more compact, a lot more local. You have a lot more local support, which is also a very good thing. People support you here locally if you have a new business or if you're just getting off the ground with a project or if you uh, even need investors behind your projects flip home flipping this area is a very very supportive area which is definitely going to be a pro to being in grand rapids now the next pro that i want to talk about is going to be location not a lot to talk about on it but i do want to touch on it because where we sit in grand rapids you're literally 15 minutes from almost everything if you want to go to Walker, that's about 15 minutes. If you want to go to Granville, it's 15 minutes. Rockford's probably about 15 to 20 minutes. If you want to go to Wyoming or East Grand Rapids, there, that's even closer. Kentwood's about 15 minutes. So all the surrounding areas are relatively close and you don't need to have a car to do fine here. We have the Rapid, we have the Dash, and getting around in Grand Rapids is not that big of a deal. Having everything together, it's like the perfect big little town. So if you're looking for a place that's not too big, but not too small, Grand Rapids is exactly what you're looking for. The other thing that I wanna say that we're close to is we're close to Detroit. We're close to Chicago. So if you wanna take a day trip or you wanna spend the weekend in Detroit or Chicago, maybe there's an auto show or maybe there's a festival, Lollapalooza's out there. If there's something you wanna to do to get out of town and just enjoy the weekend, maybe go see Lake Michigan from the other side or if you want to go see Lake Erie, you know, towards Detroit, or maybe go downtown Detroit and see some 
some cars and things like that. That's a really good highlight of being here because you're not in a big city, but you have good access to those cities. All right, I'm gonna get into the next con. This con is talking about the potholes and the construction. Now, in the winter time, you get all that snow, you get all that salt, it corrodes at the roads and eats them up. And then you get big potholes to look out for. So you're swerving, you know, trying to dodge on the road and whatnot. But that's in the winter time. But in the summertime, you got to deal with the construction and going on detours and trying to find your way around town exactly without having to take forever to get there. So the potholes and the construction are something to look out for as far as when you're coming out to Grand Rapids. Another really good thing I want to talk about as a pro of being in West Michigan is going to be the neighborhoods and the school districts. To talk a little bit about the neighborhoods that are out here, we have places like Alger Heights, West Side Connection, we have East Town, we have Eastgate, we have Heritage Hill, we have Gaslight Village, we have Midtown. There's so many great neighborhoods. When people come out here, they really don't know which one is gonna be the best suited for them because they're all really unique and they all have a good feel. So based on your lifestyle, some are gonna be more accommodating than others, especially when you're looking at northeast northwest southeast and southwest different neighborhoods in those regions that have the, all their own personality so those neighborhoods are great some of them have huge lots some of them have newer houses some of them have older style homes that have a lot of history to them it's a really great mix of different lifestyles in one little place that is is very very comfortable now to get into the school districts there's some really great school districts a lot of people take a lot of pride in the school districts. School districts such as Rockford School District, Forest Hills Northern, Forest Hill Eastern, Forest Hill Central, Grand Rapids Catholic, Grand Rapids Christian, Godwin Heights, Granville. There's so many great school districts out here and that's gonna be one of the major highlights. Some other great opportunities in schooling are gonna be schools like the Spanish Immersion Schools, different art schools, different charter schools. Take your pick. Some of the great schools that are out here, a lot of people in the area take pride in our school systems. So that's definitely something you're going to wanna look out for. To get into the other con is definitely going to be, this is gonna be the last con, and it's gonna be the crazy weather. Michigan weather is so unpredictable. I'm literally standing outside it looks fine but I'm getting a, a little bit of a drizzle here and it was supposed to be sunny today so there are some crazy weather patterns in Grand Rapids we get that lake effect snow it's so it does make it difficult to make plans when you want to go out and hang and do your thing or whatever plans you have to have a picnic or something like that that is definitely going to be something to look out for when you're coming out to West Michigan you got to kind of have a tentative plan B or a backup plan in the event that the weather does not go your way so look out for that when you're coming out here so hey I just wanted to give those pros and cons those are my pros and cons for making that move to Grand Rapids or what it's like to be in Grand Rapids Michigan again for things to do in sights to see you're watching live great TV I'm your official host of living great in Grand Rapids and the surrounding areas and the whole West Michigan area my name is Vaughn Greathouse again if you want to see more videos just like this hit that subscribe button ding that notification bell so you don't miss out on all the great videos that I'll be doing each and every week like I said that name and that number coming across the screen right now is my direct contact info so if you need to get a hold of me I answer the phones I'll get in touch with to help you out feel free to contact me anytime and until the next video we will see you on the next one